Hey guys, what's going on? So there wasn't much news this weekend, so I'm just going to go over the Unity event that's about to come out and what teams you should use and stuff and how to best, you know, utilize this event. So for most of the most of these events, basically you have to blitz to make progress, um, which allows you to open orbs, which also allows you to make progress. We'll see it once it comes out and do the math behind it. Basically, here's all the characters you can use. So you can have five full teams. Um, and I have put together five teams that you can use with all these characters put together and then this last these last four Not that these are the ones you're gonna be using But the last three that are left out you can probably throw with your Ultron or with your other Like a black bolt or some other really good character to get the most points too So let's go over the teams real quick that I am suggesting to use I have them saved in my blitz thing so this right here is the first team I'm going to suggest. Uh, Negasonic, most people don't have them unlocked, so I would just throw your two X-Force characters that are avail available on an X-Men team with Wolverine and Psylocke. Uh, pretty much Phoenix is going to do all the damage for you in this, so you shouldn't have too much time struggling with it. But let's say you don't have Phoenix, then wait for you to yourself to unlock Negasonic and throw Negasonic on that team, and then you'll have a two X or three X-Force, two X-Men team. Um, yeah, I mean, if you if you don't have Phoenix, just throw a Negasonic, Negasonic there or whoever just to get the most points. Here's your second team. This is a Spider-Verse team with Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones has a lot of advantage for city characters, which all of these are. So uh, Green Goblin has bonuses for Spider-Verse characters. And then there's Symbiote, Spider-Man, Venom, and Spider-Man, who's a Spider-Verse hero, which gets buffs from uh, Symbiote Spider-Man. Next up, we have our, um, I don't know what you call it, but Power Armor Avengers team. Uh, basically, you have Captain America, Black Widow, and Iron Man who are all, all Avengers. Ironheart's going to assist Iron Man and stuff and rescue just has good synergy with this team. If you don't have Ironheart, throw in Hulk there. Um, you know, it's basically like if you see this team and you don't have it, there's other characters you can put in there. And if you don't, it's it's better to blitz with a whole four team or with a whole group that has or four of the Unity characters and another one in there that's not and just getting wins and stuff. Here is your kind of like bkt combination um yeah if you don't have proxima or cole you can throw in yondu or gamora on this team basically any cosmic person but uh you know groot and rocket are their combinations themselves and then proxima cole and thanos just have a good synergy as well and then here's your hero brawlers team um again this is the best you can do uh if you let's say i don't know who you want to have on this team but uh, you could throw in Psylocke here once you unlock Negasonic. You could throw in Deadpool. There's a lot, but basically this is who I would recommend. Um, I'm trying to think of like who you could sub out. Like sub out Phoenix for Negasonic when you unlock her. Um, this team, I think most people have these characters. This team, I think most people have these characters. Maybe not Ironheart, so throw Hulk in there. Um, if you don't have Cole or Proxima, you can throw in Gamora and Yandu, And then you can throw Psylocke in here or whoever else. But yeah, this is what I would recommend. This is who I'm going to be using. Um... And then I'm going to throw the other three characters that are on, the, on here, which is Shocker, Yondu, and Hulk. And then Negasonic, when I unlock her, I might throw her on this X-Men team, but I don't know yet. Um, but then I'll just put him with Ultron and Black Bolt, probably, just to get extra points as well. So the event should be live. Let's look at the math behind it. And I, I, I hopefully it's doable if you're free to play. Um, so let's see where it's at. I might have to refresh the game. All right, guys. So I did the math. Uh, with eight days to do it, you need to get about 1375, 1,375 points per day. That is going to take you 13 Blitz wins. Uh, the most you can score is 109. That's five Blitz characters times 20 plus nine for the win. Um, so that's 13 Blitz wins per day. That's really not too bad. Uh, I don't know if you guys are big Blitzers or not, but, um, I think it's definitely doable. You should definitely try your hardest to get her unlocked. She's 100 uh shard unlock and what there's 20 milestones so you'll get 40 shards from this not counting uh, and you'll get more from these orbs and stuff um is there yeah here's this orbs um so yeah there's a lot of stuff this this stuff is not as free to play uh this is going to require a lot of blitzing but uh let's see 647 per an orb uh yeah i don't know if this is free to, this definitely is not free to play down here but uh you should definitely be able to unlock her because once you once you hit this final milestone, you're going to have a hard time getting these 
orbs and stuff, these orb fragments. You'll be basically be able to get orb fragments from blitzing, um, and it's going to be like 50 to 100 for the most part that you'll be getting. So that's a lot more blitz, but if you're free to play, definitely try and hit this tw milestone 20. You should definitely do it. Remember, 13 blitz wins with those five teams. Um, so what is that? Three wins per team, basically. You should be fine to do that. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys... You know, I wish you guys luck with this stuff. Uh, I kind of like doing this stuff just because it makes what's more exciting and more fun for me. Uh, let's go ahead and look in the Unity orbs just to see, you know, if it's really who's all in there. Because um, hopefully there's some good characters and stuff. Okay, so for the most part, ooh, this is not the best. I have all these characters unlocked and at 7 stars. I don't think there's one character in here that I don't have at 7 stars. Uh, so Negasonic's the only character that I need. That's kind of rough. But um, it is what it is. It's all going to go to Ultimus. But basically with this, hopefully you can unlock Negasonic. You should be able to. Um, let's do the math real quick and see how many orbs you get from just doing the milestones. Uh, the blitzing milestones and see how far you can get down onto this with just opening orbs from finishing Milestone 20. Okay, so if you finish Milestone 20 and open up all those orbs, you should get to Milestone 12 just with that. So you'll be getting 40 shards from... Uh, 40, 40 shards from the blitzing milestone and you should get what 36 shards from opening unity unity orbs just from the what you get from the uh, milestones for blitzing uh, so hopefully you can unlock it that's 76 shards total not counting any from the orb drops and stuff so hopefully you can unlock unity I hope this video was helpful I'm gonna try and do more stuff like this when these type of things come out just because I know people don't necessarily know what to do if you don't have all those blitz characters and stuff that I suggested I would suggest just blitzing with your teams that are around them so if you have a power armor team then use rescue and iron man and iron heart with the other two uh, with the other two power armors just basically try to get as much points as you can make sure um, even if you're not a big blitzer, just hit that milestone 20 and get as much as you can in this because uh, milestone 12 is, doesn't have too great of loot, but um, it's not bad to get here, especially if you're unlocking Negasonic. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I normally do news videos. I normally do guides. I normally do orb openings and stuff with my girlfriend, just whatever I'm feeling like and uh, anything that I can do to help out the community. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, all that good stuff, and that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Bye.